So when you're dating, you have to be pretty clear on the role you want the man to play in your life. Are you clear about that role? It's Kels here today and I'm back with another dating video. This topic is a little bit touchy. I know I've been hitting on some touchy topics recently, but I would be totally remiss if I didn't bring this to the forefront because as I am going on my dating journey, things pop up in conversations with people, in conversations on dates, in conversations with my girlfriends, in person and online. And I always try to bring some of those conversations to the table with you guys. One of the biggest issues that I have been paying keen attention to recently is the role of a man as a provider and a protector. So I know a lot of us either grew up with fathers or grew up without their fathers, but didn't necessarily have the man in the household playing the provider and the protector role. It's really important to pay attention to that role and what it means to have a man in your life that plays the provider and the protector. You don't necessarily want to be completely unaware of what that looks like in real life so that when you meet that type of man, you don't recognize him as such and you end up dating and marrying a man that might be similar to your grandfather or your uncle or even your own father who didn't really pull his weight in the household the way that you would have liked him to or the way that your mom um, or your aunt or your grandmother would have liked him to. So what do we mean by provider and protector? Now that's something that you have to define for yourself if you even really want a provider and protector. Not every woman feels that they should have a man in their life that plays that role for them. Some women do feel that they should have a man in their life play that role and then the woman will play the complementary role. Whatever that means to you. So pay keen attention so you don't make the same mistakes that maybe you grew up with in your household as it relates to men in your life. So if you want a provider and protector husband, make sure you understand what that looks like in the real world, particularly if you didn't have a provider and a protector father in your life. Because you may be inadvertently attracting men that are exactly like your father. And that might be a good thing for some of us who had an amazing father, and that might be a not so good thing for some of us who had a below average father. So make that assessment. See how your father lined up to your standards for a husband and make sure that when you're dating and when you're looking for a companion and a partner and a husband, that you're looking for the right things that align with your standards and not just what you experienced as a kid growing up in whatever household you grew up in. I do these videos so you know you're not out here alone in this sometimes crazy dating world. If this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe. If you're a returning viewer, good looking out. Thanks for so much for coming back. Leave your comments, questions below. Hit that subscribe and give me a thumbs up for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.